Don't worry, I'm not an intruder. This is still Rads here, or David, or whatever you want to call me. Weird is a better way of putting it, really, isn't it? But I finally had a haircut for the first time in four months, and I actually look like I've made an effort. So, good old-fashioned Q&A. Why the hell not? There's no particular reason. I just fancied doing one. And you know what? Audience interaction. That's what it's all about on YouTube, isn't it? Even though I asked for questions on Twitter, but we'll just gloss over that. Can I be on your channel one day? Can we get a milkshake too? Okay, we're off, to, we're off to a blinder right now then, aren't we? Can you be on my channel? 100%, yeah, one day. You are actually a mate in real life, so by all means, can we get a milkshake? Yes. Um, chocolate, I'll take that, or banana. Um, banana, I don't know, strawberry milkshake from McDonald's. They're, they're the best ones. Oh, I've not had a McDonald's in like five months. That's so depressing, man. Would you consider doing a player career mode on FIFA 21? Well, I'm no FIFA fella. I'm no journeyman. I'm no Benedict Tony, but... Maybe, maybe, if EA actually put effort into, into play career mode, then I'll definitely consider it. Um, I have no immediate plans, but sure, yeah, one day I think I will. What's your predictions for next season? Scenario, slash standings for both AFL, Premier League, and one more. If YouTube was not your choice, what would be your choice of favour? I don't really know what you mean by the last question, mate. I presume you mean if I didn't do YouTube, what would I do? Probably just what I did before. Um... Not much. <laughs> not much, really. Predictions for next season. I'm assuming me in the Premier League and Championship. I'm not going to go into that too much because I'm going to do a separate video on this in the near future. But I'm going to say... Premier League. Oh, tough one. You know what? City. They're going to win it. I think they're going to get it back off Liverpool. Championship. Forest? Um, no, that's not going to happen, is it? Watford, probably. Why not? Wait, hang on a second, no. You just said EFL and Premier League, and I said I presume you mean the Premier League and Championship. Yeah, good, 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 David. You worked that out, mate. Well done. If there was a cage fight between Maxwell and the Masterbooks, whose face would you see mashed up first? For context, Maxwell did a piece for Jay, which took him about four days to make, only 40 seconds long, but it took him a while, and he asked politely for a shout-out, and all he did, Jay, was put a link in the description, which is a bit of a... um. Bit of a, a, a big head of move, isn't it? So none of us, none of my fellow YouTube mates like him now, including me. So yeah. Uh, who would win? Go to Maxwell. I think he'd punch him straight in the face. Easy. Can I get a shout out? Blurshall. I mentioned you quite a lot, but why the hell not? Blurshall 04. There's your shout out, mate. In every position, who is your ideal replacement? Tough question. Because I've never really known what to say when it's a specific player. But I've said many times, I think we need two backup fullbacks at the Forest. A centre back, basically most areas to be honest. Backup goalkeeper, maybe a midfielder if Ben Watson leaves in particular, uh, maybe a winger, and definitely a backup striker. So I'm only really going to pick like maybe one position. Obviously, we're linked with Colback, Danzo from Uggsburg. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind Colback to come back, uh, pardon the pun. Striker, I link with Tony from Peterborough. I wouldn't mind him. Plus also Lyle Taylor and Freeman from Sheffield United. I think both of them would be quality signings. Taylor is a free agent and Freeman is more of a bench player at Sheffield United. So, I mean, I could see us signing both. Only Taylor is also linked with Celtic. So, he'll probably go there because he'll actually win something. That's a really tough question. I don't really know what to say about that. Um, so, I'm, I'm just going to have to pass. I basically just went over the areas I would improve but not really said who I would actually sign those players. Um, Players, positions, yeah. Do you think Forest can finally do it next season? I mean, probably build our hopes up and even with one game to go and with 10 points clear of the playoffs, we'll still find a way to mess it up. So we'll probably not, but uh, I'll say yes, we can. So I just contradict myself there, but let's just ignore that. Sing a song to start the intro. Um, I'm not going to do it again, but I'll just play it. These are the champions, the champions, the champions. Ideal signing for Forest next season. Uh, like I said, it's a tough question, that. So, um, I mean, no offence, it's a bit brief, this, but just go back and watch what I said earlier. This next question's a very interesting one. Bomb a small city or have Guy Tang Bong sign a lifetime contract? Can't really answer that, can I? I mean, do I bomb a whole city? Even though my house smaller is and you know, kill thousands of people, or have one of the worst players to ever put on a forest shirt or even a football shirt sign a lifetime contract. I'll tell you what, plot twist. We'll just sign Messi instead. You see? That's how you do it. Who's been promoted this season? Um, well, like I said earlier, I think 
Forest. Yeah, I think Forest. I th I, I, yeah, I think Forest won. Well, I'm, I'm totally, totally confident when I say that. Bournemouth and I think Brentford will, to be honest. I have a feeling Watford might choke. When they shouldn't do. Uh, maybe, maybe, what, maybe Watford actually be more of a safer bet than Bournemouth. But I'll go into detail when I do my prediction videos closer to, closer to the season. I can't speak today. Who's being relegated from the Prem? I will go for West Brom, Fulham. Fulham fans, don't kill me. Because Stoke fans did last few weeks ago. Sheffield Wednesday fans back in December. And honestly, you're a Villa fan, Charlie. But I'm going to have to say Villa. I don't really know who else to pick. Support Derby or fight Adama Traore? Wow, okay, okay, Ross, okay, Ross. Um, Layers, another YouTuber, go and check him out. Um, very underrated. Do I support a Ram or do I get absolutely taken out by a very good footballer who is really, really quite physical? Just look at them guns. Can I bend the rules a bit where I say, fight Adama Traore, but I just get someone else to do it for me? So, I don't know. I'll ask Leon Wood to do it for me, who's, you know, Nottingham lad. You know, get him to do it for me. Why not? Is he a boxer? I really hope he is. Okay, he is a boxer. One of the very few boxers I know because, uh, apart from KSI and Logan Paul, I don't really know any boxers. I mean, they're not boxers, are they, really? But still. If you could bring in one player of your choice to your team, who would you choose? I mean, if it's of my choice and any player of any level, I suppose... Um... Kylian Mbappe wouldn't be a bad guy. I wouldn't mind him. Maybe Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, or like I said earlier, maybe, maybe Lionel Messi. Yeah, I think that's pretty decent. Well, I think we'll leave it there, mainly because there's no more questions to read out. But I've really enjoyed this. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll do another one of these at some given point in the future. I'm not going to do it a lot because I think it kind of loses its you know, appeal if I do it a lot. Maybe every, every few months I might do a Q&A because why the hell not? I just fancied doing one. Plus the facts. I needed a video to, to upload, so yeah. But yeah, lads, until next time, please do like and subscribe to Rads. And I'll see you very soon.